Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I'm convicted. The poor judge really looks at it to say this is... I mean, politics. Okay, they want you convicted. I'll convict you. But I'll fine you. 20,000 kwacha. I'm fined. The state appeals. The state appeals. Because they want me in jail. But you want me in jail. I have done no crime. I've done nothing to deserve me to be in jail. But you want me in jail. Why you want me in jail is to simply silence me. That's all. That's all. You are scared of me. You are scared of me. When I start talking, you are uncomfortable. You are uncomfortable because I have a following, including those who criticize me. They criticize me, they, but they follow me. You can say whatever you want. You can belittle me whichever way you want. I am the most feared person. That's why you are even putting me on red alert. How many people have, 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 have skipped a court sessions? Have you put them on red alert? Why are you putting Chilifatayari on red alert? Because you fear Chilifatayari. You fear Chilifatayari. But I'm not intimidated. Whoa, I'm not. I am not intimidated. And don't think that I'm out of the country because I'm scared. No, I'm not scared. I have just refused to be a fool. To be that fool that is sitting, you know what is coming before you and you're just sitting there. That is foolish. That is foolish of the outer small. I mean, I'm not foolish. Me, I'm not foolish. So I cannot sit and wait for these guys to come and do me harm, to come and kill me, to throw me in jail. I'm not foolish. I'm not. The day I left, I just beat them to, the intel to their own intelligence. I just beat them to their own intelligence. They were busy looking for a vehicle to come and pick me so that they can transport me in the thick of the night. Like the way they did when they took me to Lukulu. This time around, they wanted to take me to Wengwa. That's why they wanted to take me. They wanted to take me to Southern Province. But you know, Lesatala, God does not sleep. Somebody called me, Tayali, we are coming for you. Somebody called me, Tayali, we are coming for you. We are looking, they are just organizing a vehicle. Once they get the vehicle, you are going. We are going. Lisa Tarala. God does not sleep. I serve a God above. I serve a God above. I left on a Saturday in the evening. The following day, they were at my house. And you saw what they did. Broke the gate. Broke the doors. Went inside like criminals. Like criminals. Got whatever they could get to cover the evidence. And you say, I should be the one to be on, on a wanted list. I think those police officers who went to my house to terrorize my house, to break into my house, to take things, taking the CCTV, taking uh, cameras, taking computers, those are the ones that should be arrested. Why were you getting, why did you get my cameras? Why did you get my, my computers? Why did you get my CCTV? Why? For what? My internet connection, my modems, you got. Why did you get those things? Because you want to find something. You are fishing, trying to find something that can stick on the battery. But you won't find it because I'm an innocent guy. I'm an innocent guy. I'm an innocent guy. All I do is to speak. And that's why some of you, you say your only enemy is your mouth. Yes, I speak and I speak for others. I speak for those who are suffering. That's what I do. 
I'm a public lawyer. I speak for the public. I don't speak for myself. So that is why I left. I didn't leave because I was scared. I left because I didn't want to be stupid sitting there waiting for them to come and hack me. And God intervened through a person that gave me the intel that they were coming for you. And indeed, true to his word, I left Saturday in the evening. The following day, they were at my house, breaking everything. And I should be put on, on radar late. Are you really thinking? Even you, citizens who are supporting them, really, for these cases that I've outlined, really, do you really think I should be on, on radar late? I should be unwanted? Do you really think Interpol would be that stupid to accept these cases? To be put on red alert. Even yesterday I was traveling. Even yesterday I was traveling. Friday, uh, I left. Uh, <clears throat> I left on on Friday. I went to the beach, you know, in another country. I came back yesterday evening. That's when I came back. I came back yesterday in the evening. I'm flying. I'm moving because I am. I am an innocent person. I'm not a criminal. I'm not a criminal. And, you know, for your own information, I mean, I, I, am, I am moving. I have not even attempted to get asylum. But, because I don't want to, you know, I know these are political cases that should be handled politically. But, with the way you are behaving, I might just get asylum. And I'm sure I can be entertained, I can be granted that asylum because your persecution is very evident. It's very evident. It is sad that you can continue on this trajectory. You can't even reason. And it's actually ignorance. Even for whoever wrote that application to Interpol, it's actually ignorance. Because if you are not ignorant, you should have known that these are not cases that uh, Interpol would pursue. It's ignorance. They are even laughing at you. Wherever you wrote, wrote that, they are looking at it and they are laughing to say, I mean, what kind of people are these? Is this democracy? Where, because somebody is a politician, somebody speaking, is offering checks and balances to get to government and you want to arrest them. It is sad. And don't, at no, if you are innocent, come back. I'm telling you, I would have no problem to sit and run through all the trial if I know that justice is there. Our justice has been compromised. Our justice system has been compromised. Our judges are scared. Our magistrates are scared. They have to give justice according to President Haka in the and his government. If they give anything other than what they want, they are in problems. Magistrates have to be so courageous to rule against the government. There is no losing for the government. If, they, if the government says, you have this case, you must be jailed for that case. And my brothers and sisters, you may be jubilating. You may feel okay because it is happening to Chief Fatayari. But trust me, these things may happen to you or somebody that is connected to you. So don't get excited when wrong things are happening. I am in problems not because of my own, no. Because I've spoken for others. I speak for many other people that are in, in, in difficult situations. And that's why I'm here. But for you, you think, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. It's okay. It's okay. But trust me, dictators, they start with the obvious ones. But eventually, they go into the public. Today we are talking about that young man, Chama. That young man is an innocent taxi driver. Taxi driver. Today, Chama is serving a sentence of 12 months. There, there is that other girl also. Eh? There is that other girl, you know, who was recently also jailed. Many others will be jailed and you just never know. You just never know when it will be your time. Bad things, we should stamp them out. We should say no. 
Say no to bad things. Don't just clap because it is not you. Because you don't like Chun Fatayari. Trust me, one day it will be you. What is happening in our country is not right. The police are really abusing their authority. The police are torturing people. You saw that woman. Eh? You saw that woman who was beaten. Eh? There is that woman who is crawling, you know. You he heard recently that man who died, Muma says, is it from Matero police? Eh? And his son was beaten because the man had BP. They wanted to, the, the, the son took, took medicine for him. You know, took medicine for him. And the police beat him up and locked him up. At the end of the day, the father died, Muma says. This is, I mean, our police is a danger now. And when you hear statements coming from the IG, it's proper propaganda, proper, proper propaganda. Then go to courts, go to the courts. What is happening in our courts? I believe our magistrates are good. They are good. I, am, I have no issue with the magistrates. I have no issue with the judges, except a few of these cadres who have been who have been appointed, and you can and we know that these cadres. But majority of our of our judicial judicial officers, magistrates, uh, a, a registrars, a judges, they are good people. But they are scared. They are scared of this government. So when you are there before them and you are from the opposite side, it becomes very difficult for them. So instead of putting them even under pressure, because me, my cases, I've got no case on which for which I should be convicted. For I've got no case. No case. The case Yomulela and Dewanankane here at inciting soldiers. There is no way I can be jailed for that. The case of at uh, 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 um, uh, 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 the case of uh, seditious practice, there is no way I can be jailed for that. If you are saying those are not soldiers, then show me who are those people who came to my house. If you are telling me that no, Tayali, the people that came to your house to kill you or to attempt to kill you, they are not soldiers, then show me. Because you are supposed to arrest those people and bring them to say these are the people. You see? You were lying when you said they are soldiers. These are the people that came to your house. They are not soldiers. But you don't have cream. You don't have those people that came to my house. And you, I mean, I mean, I'm the one in court. What nonsense is that? What nonsense is that? Then you talk about, no, eh, you said, eh, you mentioned Chief Mukuni. Chief Mukuni is saying, I'm not interested in the case. He has even been refusing to come to court. He has refused to come to court, but the state continues. They even bring other fake witnesses. The person, the main person, the owner of the case has said, no, I'm not coming to court. But who is pushing that agenda? And you think me, I'm foolish. Ndemona, Gilbert Piri, I can see Gilbert Piri, the DPP, the Director of Public Prosecution. I'm seeing him tinkering with my life. I'm seeing him doing that. You think I should just sit and wait? At assault, okay, convicted, paid the fine. No, he must go to jail for five years. And you think I should sit and wait? No, Tayari, you should stop talking. You should. What good does it? What good does it do? I stopped talking. I stopped. I even went to my to my business there. I was busy doing my business, advertising my business. Did they stop? No, they didn't stop because they looked at me like a lion that is sleeping. I was like a lion that is sleeping. They look at it, oh, okay, it is sleeping. But if it wakes up, we are in trouble. The best that we should do is to sort it out. That is what the UPN has done. I stopped talking. So those of you who give me counsel, no, why don't you keep quiet? What good? Even if I keep quiet, it's the same, these people. They are too scared of me. They are too scared of me. I stopped talking, but they couldn't. They couldn't. They, they couldn't, they were just looking at, hmm, this guy, if he wakes up, we're in trouble. Even I'm out here, it's not that they are pursuing me because I've committed a crime. They are pursuing me because they, do, they want to cut me off. They want me to stop talking. 
They know the best place for where they can be comfortable is when I'm in the cells, isolated, or I'm killed. That is two things that will let by you PND to let go of me. Only two things. One, it's either Ndimuma Seozi, Ndimu jail, I'm in jail, or they kill me. Only two things. I'm out here, they are very uncomfortable, and that's why they are desperate going everywhere, even going to Interpol. But in their neighborhood, Interpol will not. Interpol will not. I am not. In, I have all the confidence. Interpol will not stop me anywhere. Interpol will not arrest me. They will not. They will not read. Read what it says. Interpol has got a, a committee. Eh? Is it a, what? Do, what do they call that? It's like a council that looks at issues. When a matter is presented, they see it. There is a panel that sit to evaluate the matter before they put it out there that this is a wanted criminal. And I'm telling you, they, there is no way they are going to sit and look at these cases. And by the way, by the way, if you must know, if you must know for you to know, you I have a right to approach Interpol and also explain my side. I have a right. Interpol provides all these avenues. Interpol, Interpol can call me, I can write to Interpol and tell them to say, my government is declaring me a criminal. I'm not a criminal and this is my story. They will entertain me. They will listen to me. I've got all the evidence. All the evidence. So, what are you celebrating? You are just ignorant. You are just ignorant. Allah. Bad. If you cop a fine fine, you are in government, but you don't know anything. You think being in government allows you to do whatever you want. Just because you can sell more panel, you can sell. I mean, you are doing things illegal. You are selling a lot of our properties, but all those things are illegal because of ignorance, because of arrogance. It won't work. It won't work. You will not, I will not come into that country under Interpol handcuffed. If I want, I will even write to Interpol right now. I even write to Interpol and tell them. If I want, I, will, I can even ask for asylum in a country of my choice. If I want. But come on, I mean, you know, let's not get excited. That's, I am, I'm relaxed. That's why these days I'm not even talking. Let's not get excited. You know, we, we, we can still reserve something because if our country, you know, ends a bad reputation, I mean, it's not good. And I'm avoiding that. I'm a patriot. I'm seriously avoiding, you know, putting my country in a situation where, you know, people start thinking twice about Zambians. I'm enjoying this part wherever I go. I put my passport there. They, they, they don't give me problems. I'm enjoying that. And I don't want to spoil that. That's why I have, you know, Taking it easy, taking it easy. I'm just enjoying myself, enjoying my holidays. You know, yesterday I was at the beach over the weekend. I was at the beach. I was enjoying there. You know, I'm just relaxing, relaxing. So don't agitate me to start going into these avenues. Anyway, I, I hope I have belabored on that one. I hope some of you have gotten something out of what I've, what I've said. But I just want to also tell you that, uh, you know, I still remain a president of a political party, economic and equity party. And since I'm out of the country, I am appointing, I am appointing somebody to be the SG. I'm appointing somebody to be the SG. So, Shamitawa Hamanzi, Shamitawa Hamanzi has been appointed SG for... Shamitawa Hamanzi has been appointed as SG for Economic and Equity Party. I will publish a later and Shamitawa will be, you know, representing me. So if you want media houses and whatever, whatever, if you want to know anything about me, you should contact Hamitawa Hamanzi. He's the, our new SG for Economic and Equity Party. Uh, and this appointment is with effect uh, from right now. Shamitawa Hamanzi is our Secretary General for Economic and Equity Party. 
he will organize the party he will do whatever um i mean is our is our boss in the meantime for me just pray for me i am well god is looking after me continue supporting me uh those of you who have been supporting me thank you very much continue supporting me um i'll be back home in no time i'll be back home i just want things to cool down to cool down i want things to cool down i'll come back thank you very much i have to go have a good day bye this is dj mutati exclusive Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.